Hello children, welcome to Bible at Bedtime. Hope you've had a nice day today. Happy Thursday to you. And we've been thinking, haven't we, about people using the opportunities that God has given them to seek for Jesus, search for Jesus. And I think we've got somebody or something coming on a train. <laughs> so, on the train today, we've got a little man here, and he's called Bartimaeus, and we've got a begging bowl, not to scale. He'd have had to have a tiny little bowl, wouldn't he? But I've got a bowl anyway to show you, but he used a begging bowl because Bartimaeus was a man who didn't have any way of getting money for himself. This was at a time, of course, when there was no help for you, if you were poor. So we'll see what happens in today's story. So Bartimaeus. So if you remember yesterday, um, we met Zacchaeus. So Jesus is still working his way through the crowds. Everyone's come to listen to him. He's talked to Zacchaeus, he's been to his house for tea. <laughs> I wonder what they had. And now we read further along the Jericho Street. Another man sat waiting. But he sat waiting every day. He was always waiting. Helping that passers-by might put some small coins in his beggar's bowl. So he would have sat in the street and he'd have said something like, arms please or money please. And people would have dropped some spare coins in. Now perhaps he would do well out of the pilgrims who were coming through the town today. They might feel generous towards a poor blind beggar because Bartimaeus couldn't see. He was blind um, so uh, he would have been unable to go to work or look after himself or family. That's why he was begging. But although Bartimaeus couldn't see Oh, his hearing was sharp. He soon caught the name of Jesus on everyone's lips. He could hear the word Jesus. And he heard, all, and he had heard all about him. Jesus must be in the crowd that was on its way. The pilgrims came nearer, but there was very little chatter now because everyone was listening hard to what Jesus was saying. Now, Bartimaeus was certain he was sure that jesus was god's promised messiah and that's right isn't it god had said jesus he knew it for sure he was determined to take the golden opportunity and ask jesus to help him he wasn't going to waste this opportunity mustering all his strength he shouted at the top of his voice jesus son of david have pity on me Stop that noise, all the people were saying. We're trying to listen to Jesus. But Bartimaeus only shouted louder. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And everyone was very cross with him. But Jesus stopped. Call him here, he said. And the message was passed back. And eager hands soon helped Bartimaeus to his feet and tried to push him forward. But Bartimaeus needed no prodding. Throwing off his cloak, he stumbled quickly forward in the direction of Jesus' voice. And I've got a picture of him here. So there's Bartimaeus. And can you see he's thrown off his cloak, which he would have wrapped around him. He's thrown it off because he's reaching out to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. Lord, I want to be able to see, said Bartimaeus. Well, you shall have what you've asked for, Jesus told him, because you put your trust in me and I have healed you. You can go home now, Bartimaeus. But Bartimaeus took one look at Jesus' face, because now of course he can see, and he knew that he didn't want to go home. Happily, he joined the jostling crowd. He was ready to follow his king to the end of the world. So isn't that a lovely story about a man who had been blind and who had no way of looking after himself, but Jesus has healed him. But the important thing 
that to understand is that he believed in Jesus, he trusted him. And that miracle points us to the fact that Jesus can help us to see and help us to understand. There's an old hymn that says, once I was blind, but now I see. Um, so the sinner, the saved sinner, is somebody who was blind, but now they can see that Jesus has given them the light of life. So thank you very much for joining me today. We're just going to say a prayer, hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus is the light of the world. And we thank you that whereas once we walked in darkness, if we had Jesus in our hearts, now we can see clearly. And so we thank you, Lord. And we thank you that we can know Jesus and his friendship and his lordship in our lives. Thank you. Amen. So I'm going to put Bartimaeus on the track. Thank you very much for joining us, Bartimaeus. And there's your bowl, which you don't need any more. A bit big for you anyway, to be fair. And we'll just do the blessing and then we'll say bye-bye to them. So, le, le, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you safe, and the Lord give you his peace till we meet again. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone, and bye-bye, Bartimaeus. He followed Jesus for the rest of his life.